Hey guys, this is Rad and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today is Saturday and I have a new, really cool this time, one command creation for you guys. So let's get started. I don't want to talk too much in this video. I want it to be quick. Don't forget to leave that big fat thumbs up under the video guys if you are enjoying this video. And let's go into the demonstration part. So give yourself a command block as you do with all of my one command creation. Type in chat slash give at p command underscore block and hit enter and you'll get a command block you place down two command blocks one on top of the other like this and on the bottom one you copy the first command that you find in the video description there's a link you'll be forwarded to my website where you find both the links you copy the first link you paste it in the command block at the bottom click on done then you go again in the website you copy the second command which is at the bottom of the page many of you guys have been asking me you don't find the command it's just at the bottom of the page it's not that hard to find it all right so let, click on done once you have pasted both the commands click on this button, click on done, and the machine will be generating in just a few seconds. Why am I talking so fast? Uh, I don't really know. Anyways, because probably because I have so much stuff to demonstrate. As you can see, this is not actually a one comment creation. Don't tell me in the comments section down below. Ah, it's not a one comment creation. You use two comment blocks. Yeah, I use two comment blocks, but I'm using the same method that one comment creation used, which is compacting everything in a command that is really, really big. Oh my god, yeah, we are, as you can see, in Minecraft 1.11. I love the new villages used in Minecraft 1.11. Oh, look at this chunk. Oh, this is Illuminati confirmed. These villagers are part of the Illuminati war. All right, so what, as you saw from the title of the video, what I'm going to add today with this really cool one command creation, look at that, look at how many crafting recipes. This command creation adds missiles in vanilla Minecraft, of course. So let's get started with the crafting recipes. I ordered them in order of, well, uh, let's say that I left the coolest one at the end and let's start from this one. So the crafting recipes are simple and straightforward. You use 8 iron ingots, 4 TNTs and of course one of these items to craft one of the respective missiles. So let's drop this, let's drop this and an ender eye to craft a uh, telemissile. Now that we have a missile, we're not done yet. You see this arrow? Drop it on ground. You see this redstone? Drop it on ground and you'll get three targets. Now, you'll need to place first a target that will, of course, well, target where you want the missile to land. And let's say that I want to teleport, yeah, because this missile is a telemissile. A telemissile teleports a portion of land on which uh, this missile lands up in the air. So let's teleport, for example, this blacksmith house. Now, how we do that? Of course, first we select, we put a target on the ground where we want the missile to land, and then we can go anywhere into our world and place our missile. We can place it as far as we, we want, but make sure that it is in a radius of 80, 80 blocks from the target. If you don't have a target in a radius of 80 blocks, so if we remove this target for, uh, I'll do it later, okay? I'll show it later. Now let's take a flint and steel. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Time is money, all right? Let's lit up this block under the missile. And oh my God, this is so, so loud. It's actually too loud. Let's bring the volume down. All right. So the missile, you can see that it has a realistic acceleration. I had to Google like how uh, the space shuttles uh, accelerate in real life and I applied the values to Minecraft. So we have something like this, a realistic acceleration of our missiles. Right, so as you can see, the missile goes up and then falls down back on the ground and will do a pretty nice impact. So this one, for as I said, look at that. It teleported a portion of land that it's underneath it up in the sky. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's nice, but we left. Oh, actually, we left the roof. Okay. Okay, we didn't take the roof. Uh, I really love it. All right, so this was the telemissile. We don't need it anymore, so let's place it down here. Right, so next one, next one. Let's craft it here. Let's craft it here. Eight iron ingots, four TNT, one pickaxe, iron pickaxe. Don't use any other pickaxe because it will not work. This one is a query missile and as the name tells, well, let's place a target and you'll see. Oh, what I wanted to show you before is that if we place a missile down and we don't have a target, if we try to lit it up, it will say no target found in a radius of 80 blocks. So you'll need to place a target in a radius of 80 blocks and the missile will start, will, will of course will work. Let's lit it up and you can see that it go. Oh, this one has an animated part on the top which uh, like shows the, a drill simulates a drill should it should simulate a drill let's let it go up and then it will fall down as you can see it is aligned up on our target 
and it's coming down. This is really nice with this view with the with the Optifine zoom. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Straightforward. He digs down uh, till it reaches the bedrock level, and of course, it will not remove the bedrock. So you are sure that you don't fall in the void. So if you want to reach a mine, reach the ground level, the bedrock level, really quickly, you can use one of these uh, really nice missiles. Let's get on the next crafting recipes. 8 iron ingots, 14 TN, 1 block to craft an ordinary missile. This is the simplest missile added in this creation. So an ordinary missile, what it does, it does a normal explosion. It's a bit bigger than a normal TNT, so you will have a better explosion, let's say. Let it accelerate. As you can see at the start, it's really hard for it to gain momentum, but once it has it, it will go really fast and it will fall down. Come on, be quick, right? So while it is falling down, let's place another target for the next one. Okay, it's coming. And the next one, oh yeah, the next one, it has to be with fire. It likes to burn everything. And this one, boom, this is the explosion caused by an ordinary missile. Now I want to kill all the items, kill at E, because they cause a lot of lag and it is uh, really hard for our missiles to go up. 8 iron ingots, 4 TNTs, 1 fire charge to craft a flame missile. Let's place it down. Oh, and look at that. Also, I, I didn't pay attention to the design. As you can see, each different missile has at the top of it, it represents what missile it is. This one is a flame missile, therefore I added a magma block on top of it. Let's lit it up and let's see what it does. Then the next one, oh, it's similar to the fire one. The only thing is that it has lava. So let's place it here, let's prepare a target. Should we craft it? Let's see if we can craft it before it lands. Eight, four lava buckets to craft a hell missile. Right, this one is coming. And boom, it, f yeah, it burns everything around. So it's uh, really useful if you want to burn down forests or your friend's house. Make sure that they don't see you when you do that. Right, next one we have the hell missile. And as you may, may tell, oh yeah, the top is, it has changed, of course. As you may tell, this one, uh, it explodes but causes an explosion of lava when it lands. Let's prepare the other one. The other one is a chemical bomb. I love it. So let's prepare this. Eight, four, and a portion of poison. Make sure that it is the 45 seconds one. Drop it on ground to craft a chemical bomb. Where is it? It's coming and as you can see when they fall down they are reversed so the upper part is on the bottom and the bottom part is on the upper part now. And as you can see they cause an explosion of lava which will burn everything. So yeah it will fill the, your friend's house with lava which is worse than uh, having fire. At least fire removes some blocks, the lava will remain there and it will be hard to remove it. Chemical bomb. Let's place it down. Oh, actually, I wanted to have some mobs, but well, as you can tell, chemical bomb. Look at that. I really like the top part. I used the new shulker box. Item, block, not item. Let's uh, give it some time to go up. Meanwhile, let's craft 8 iron ingots, 4 TNT, and a 1 nether star. It is kind of expensive, but you may tell it is a nuclear missile. Let's wait for this one to come down. So, the chemical bomb, it will well cause a explosion of poison so as you can see now you can't tell it easily because there is grass underneath but as you can see there is a really big cloud of poison so if you go there if you happen to be there you will get weakness 2 for 30 seconds poison 2 for 2 minutes and hunger 2 for 3 minutes next one and the most most interesting one which I wanted to leave for the end is the nuclear missile. Let's go in that forest and well of course let's see how it how nothing will remain here. L right, we need to place a target down on the top of this hill. I like it. Then let's place down the nuclear missile on this tree and let's burn it. There we go. It's uh, it makes me laugh that the tree like doesn't burn instantly after a missile is departing from the top of it, but this is only details. We are in Minecraft. We need to stay far. Uh, it will cause a bit of lag. So, uh, yeah, if you wonder why, it's of course because of this beast. And let it happen. It will take a bit of time, maybe half a minute, one minute, depending on, the, on your computer, on how powerful your computer is. Actually, it's not causing that much lag. It is lagging a bit, but I can still 
look around in the world. Let's give it some time. It should take up to, yeah, as I said, maybe one minute. It can take even two minutes, depending on uh, how powerful your computer is, on the performance. And come on. It should be done. It should be done in just a few moments. All right, there we go. There we go. This... The, look at that! It destroyed half of this forest. Well, maybe not half, but great part of it. Look at that! Almost no trees left. And I really love how it creates these like caves inside, cave in a cave. And oh, it mined our minerals. And we can get some exp. Right. So that was it about today's creation, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you want to remove the machine, where is it? I lost it. Oh, it's there. All right. Come on, come on. Be quick. If you want to remove this machine, you have to right click on this button. No, it's not a button, it's a sign. You right click on this sign. Oh, actually, if you want to deactivate the machine, you right click this. If you want to activate it back, you click that. If you want to remove the machine, you right click this sign. And you are done. So guys, that was it about today's creation. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up under this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, I want to thank you all guys for watching this video until the end and I'll see you all in my next video. See you, bye.